thanks for watching my unboxing of my new Quantum Follow Me drone. Let's see what comes in the box. So far, so good. It all seems like it's arrived in good condition, doesn't seem to be damaged at all. I have to say, I'm pretty excited for this. So let's see. All right, first thing we get is we've got ourselves a battery. Now, there's not too much in the way of um, specs or anything on this, so we'll have a quick look. Um, on the inside, uh, it does say here, um, Sheeta, which I'm assuming is a brand, 5200 milliamp, um, and it says 11.1 volt, so 5.2 amp, 3 cell. There is a balance plug here, which looks like a, a standard um, balance plug, uh, and it also looks like a, uh, an XT60, which has been turned at 90 degrees. So um, Now, Hobby King hasn't actually listed any spare parts for this, but I am under the impression that this is just a SIM2 Dragonfly being uh, rebranded. Uh, at the moment the SIM2 batteries are going for around about um, 89 dollars euro. Uh, yeah, about 89 euro, so quite an expensive battery. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to make my own battery case for some batteries that I've already got with the 3D printer. So, alright, next. Alright, what have we got? Looks like we've got some prop guards and here we go here's our little case now the specs weren't exactly very clear on this on Hobby King uh, I'm not usually one to just jump and, and purchase something but um, it did look pretty good so we'll yeah hopefully it's a, a good purchase all right so everything's well packed um, Case seems to be excellent. Um, doesn't seem to anything have been damaged on the way, which is great. Uh, okay, so we've got our propellers. Um, they look like a basically a DJI knockoff, uh, and they measure nine four five zero. So we have four propellers. It would have been nice if they threw in an extra set, but you can't have everything, I guess. We have our removable uh, landing skids. Looks like we have the GPS tracker. We have some assorted cables, so it looks like balancing cables, um, American plugs, so you'll need an adapter or just a figure eight for whatever your country is. Uh, there looks like a micro USB for doing some charging. That's what we've got there. Got an instruction manual. Um, so flying tips. Oh, it's a bonus it's in English. So that's nice for me. Any other languages? No, all English. Okay, so there's lots. So that's good. Nothing else in that side. What else do we have over here? So again, very well packaged. Very happy with this. Here is probably the nicest thing about this whole thing and why... I went and purchased this. We have our control watch. So I think this is what's going to set this thing apart from every other drone that I've played with and all the other ones that we've seen in the market. And I really hope this works really well. All right, so that leaves us with um, our nice little two axis gimbal. Uh, we have Okay, so it looks like it's just got uh, a little fiberglass board, um, some connectors in here, so we're not going to have to physically plug anything in. It's just going to be able to slot in, turn up a, a little turnbuckle at the front. Uh, it should make all the connections for us. Uh, and then we've got this new 
Quantum branded camera. I checked on the Hobby King website, they didn't sell this um, separately. So there really isn't any kind of information on exactly what this is going to do for us. So uh, I really hope this is going to be, uh, look I'm not expecting it to be a GoPro killer, but if it can get close to my Hero 3 Black I'll be very very happy. Um, one thing uh, that it didn't really mention on the website is that it actually has uh, a viewfinder on the back of the camera which is a nice little bonus. So um, we've got some, looks like some buttons on the side. Um, we've got uh, your micro SD, HDMI and then your uh, micro uh, USB for your charging. Looks like a microphone port. Uh, you have your mode button and your power button and an indicator. So hopefully the, the form factor might even get away with you know basically throwing this in a GoPro case uh, and you've got yourself a nice little waterproof camera. What else have we got in here? Oh, have a quick flip. Looks like our battery. Okay, so we've got ourselves a um, 3.7 uh, 900 milliwatt, uh, milliamp, sorry. Uh, that'd be way too nice that if a GoPro battery actually fit that. I do have some GoPro batteries, so I will do a bit more of an in-depth review on the camera by itself. But this is just a bit of an unboxing, so here we go. Um, we've got ourselves our, quite a nice, it's, it's an aluminium um, gimbal. Um, not quite as nice as my Taro gimbal but the motors are considerably smaller, so I imagine it's gonna be quite a bit lighter. Um, you've got your IMU built in here, so it should be pretty good, hopefully. So that's next. Oh, there was no mention of what firmware or anything runs on here. I'm, I'm hoping it's a you know, version of base cam, so if I need to get in there and, and make any modifications, I can. So again, that's, that's to be seen. Okay, what's next? All right, here we go. Now, it's a bit, bigger than what I was thinking it's going to be. It, it is quite a big quad. Um, it's not a, a micro quad by anybody's you know, stretch of imagination. Here's a, uh, a RCX250 that I'm sort of putting together for somebody at the moment. So it's not massive. It's sort of, you know, about the same size as putting a, a, a 250 quad in your backpack. It's not tiny, tiny. Um, so here we go. So the folding mechanism is quite easy to use it's literally just pull pull and pull and it looks like it's just a, a matter of pulling that in and releasing so um, the material uh, is quite a it's a very very glossy ABS material um, don't know how it's going to go in a crash obviously it's you know, the very early days the Carbon on the arms does actually seem like a, a really nice carbon weave, so it doesn't look like they've used a, a cheap pultruded carbon at all. Um, so yeah, very happy with that. Uh, and you've just got these little LED for orientations uh, on the bottom of each motor, so that's gonna be good if you are flying at line of sight or you, you know you need to see what's going on. That should work nicely. And they just clip on and off, so you can use your propeller guards. That you know, if you are flying around you know, somewhere where you think it might hit a tree, because obviously this doesn't have any kind of proximity sensing, or you think there might be a chance that you might hit somebody, it's probably not a bad idea to run those. So, uh, what else? Okay, so this just slides in here, I guess. Um, somehow, I guess I'll work that out in a minute. No, oh, that just like sits down like that. Okay, it's a bit weighty. I'll go through and do some um, weights and things for you uh, on a, the next review so you can get a, a good idea of, uh, of what is actually we've got here. Um, a little bit more packing. And then we've just got quite a basic balance charger. Just looks like it's going to be uh, 2S, 3S, um, no HT, so it's balancing, it's charging straight through the balance connector. Um, and the output is two amps. Wow, that's quite serious for something that size, but it's probably still gonna take two and a half hours to charge that, so I can't see me ever using this unless I'm on holiday, and yeah, I'm absolutely out of other options. So there you go, that's everything that's come out of the box. Don't know how easy it's gonna go back into the box, but we'll find out in a minute. Um, if you've got any questions, throw them at the bottom of the links, and I'll try and get to them in the next video. Thanks for watching.